Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Head to Head. I'm Ivan. And I'm Megan. And in this episode here, we're going to be doing Four Color Snow Cove versus Blue Red Delver. All right, so going into game one here, it uh, looks like I end up being on the play, and um, we both end up keeping on seven here. I go ahead and just start out with the classic um, basic land into Ponder, and it looks like I keep on top, so I'm pretty happy with that. And aside from the basic land, I'm just going to copy all of your moves, because you seem to win a lot, so I'm going to try to do whatever you do. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I go ahead and fetch down. I go grab another, uh, I guess these are both snow covered actually, but yeah, snow covered lands here. I uh, go and get the swamp this time and play Astrolabe. And well, I don't think I like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and force a will. Yeah, I mean, cutting me off colors like that is, is pretty good. You don't want me to be able to just have access to whatever I want. Yeah, only I can have the greedy mana base. Right, well, I mean, you know I'm not playing Wasteland, so you can feel free to fetch duels. And going into Dreadhorde Arcanist, which is super powerful. And let's see what I have over on my side here. So I do go, I do have uh, Bayou, and I Fatal Push, and it actually mm -hmm. ends up resolving, thankfully. Yeah, I used my Force of Will on that uh, previous spell you played, and I should have saved it. But I'm going to brainstorm and look for some options. And it looks like I'm going to go ahead and quaddle in response, uh, just before you have more cards in hand, so you have less options to deal with it. Less chances of having another Force of Will. Yeah. And so it looks like you get a Wasteland here. Uh, you do Lightning both the quaddle, obviously, because you want to get it out of the way, so you can be able to swing through Delvers and things like that. And then it looks like another Brainstorm. There's probably going to be a lot of brainstorming in these games here, so... <laughs> We're just really thinking hard, you know, trying to sculpt that perfect hand. Yeah, and it looks like I do. I lay a fetch and uh, throw away some unnecessary cards and keep the best ones, it seems. Uh, Brainstorm's a uh, powerful, very powerful card, I've heard. Mm -hmm. Well, I try. It looks like but... you go to daze it, yeah. And instead, you just get two. Arkham's Astrolabes, you know? Yeah. Shame on me for trying, I guess. Okay, so you do have a TNN, which needs to be answered pretty much immediately, or else that's going to take over the game quickly. And wouldn't you know it, I have the answer. I do uh, play the Plague Engineer there, and I do name it Rogue. Which is a bummer for me, because I also don't have options or answers for that either. Searching for more answers. Too little, too late, but, you know. It looks like I do the same move there with the uh, Quaddle in response to the Brainstorm. I'm noticing a pattern here. You always seem to have answers to my answers. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, playing a control deck, that tends to happen. <laughs> uh, you do Wasteland my Bayou and then proceed to play another Wasteland, just in case. Yeah. I mean, the Astrolabe obviously making Wasteland a lot worse, but... It Ooh, and I go to play an Oko and you spell pierce it. Really, really good stuff on your end there. Uh, I finally had an answer in time. Yeah. I'm thinking really hard over here about which creature I'm going to Lightning Bolt. Yeah. Getting that Plague Engineer off the table is really good. Um, Notably, the Ice Fang Quaddle does have Death Touch, so you'll want to have to get, you're going to have to get rid of that as well if you want to be able to swing through. Well, the Plague Engineer also had Death Touch, didn't it? Absolutely. I just mean, like, in the air. Oh, I see. Yes, for my Delvers. And so you do, we do see the um, main deck Scavenging Ooze come down to try to take some of your graveyard, and it looks like you actually stifle my activation there, which is really cool. Yeah. Trying to make him not get super big super fast. Right. Seems like I'm on the defensive for most of this game. I'm just constantly searching, trying to find another answer. Yeah. Uh, and I go ahead and I Lightning Bolt. Okay. And it looks like we're going to have, yeah, Snapcaster, Flashback Bolt. And you do have a Spell Pierce, though, for the second bolt. Is it enough? I'm only at 8, and you're at 18. It's not looking solid for me right now. Okay, I go and ponder. I'm probably looking for yet another bolt to just try and close it out this turn. Um, you get another Astrolabe. I do have 5 on board here, 
And then you, the next play, if I remember correctly, that you do is really, really funny, and I think it actually ends up closing the game. Oh yes, when I knew I'd been had. Yeah, the chain lightning, I copy it with the astrolabes, and that's gonna do it for game one then. <laughs> So going into the sideboard for game two, I end up taking out the two Thought Seas just because I don't want to spend life um, to take away her cards. Uh, I take out the Jace the Mind Sculptor because it ends up being a little slow, I think, and also two Force of Wills. Uh, and that's also because I end up bringing in different counter magic that is more efficient, um, like the Red Elemental Blast, the two Pyro Blast. Um, I also bring in the Nihil Spell Bomb in order to nuke the graveyard for things like Dreadhorde Arcanist. And I bring in the Veil of Summer to help with the battles on the stack. So for my sideboard, it actually looks pretty similar. Um, I'm actually also going to bring in two Pyroblasts and one Red Elemental Blast. And that's really just because I'm going to try to control the control deck a little bit as much as I can. That's also why I bring in Winter Orb and then Sulfuric Vortex just to try to ping him down over time. And what I take out is two Preordain because they're the weaker of the cards that help me kind of sculpt my hand. And then also Days, just because I feel like as a control deck, he's typically always having enough mana to pay for Days, so it's not giving me a whole lot of value. Alright, and it looks like game two, I make a nice little smiley face there for you. So, mm -hmm. wishing you some luck. <laughs> And I'm going to start off once again trying to sculpt my hand a little bit, trying to find uh, what my angle is going to be for this round. Yeah, and I mean it looks like you like what you see, um, it looks like you kept them all on top. Uh, I go ahead and get snow covered island and it looks like I do the old ponder dance with you one more time. I love watching blue decks, man, we're just over here keeping our secrets to ourselves. Like our Delver of Secrets, you mean? There we go, Delver of Secrets, coming at ya. Like Cleopatra. <laughs> now, if only I can get it to flip. Hopefully, you cut me to an instant or sorcery. Sure. Let's see. Okay, so I end up playing a Vulcan. and I end up uh, going ahead and Red Element Blasting that. Now, I'm gonna try to brainstorm to find an answer. And you're going to brainstorm to answer my answer. Yeah, just, you know, trying to outvalue each other, outgame each other. Oh, man. There's a lot going on with the stack. Okay, so it looks like you end up, you know, playing Protect the Queen, as they say, and uh, the Delver sticks around. It doesn't, however, flip, it seems. Which is a bummer, and I'm going to shuffle that deck, find another land so that I can hopefully... Which a instant or sorcery to the top again. Right. This time successfully, hopefully. Okay, which will also be really helpful with this young pyromancer here to just really start to lay on uh, a really quick clock. Yeah, that was my plan, you know, trying to have some synergy going on with my deck. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's usually important. Uh, Alright, and then so it looks like this Oko here is resolving. Mm. Um, and I go ahead and put tick him up and make a food token there. And so it looks like you're gonna have to deal with that very quickly. Ugh, and this is the beginning of my demise. Oh, but you do flip the Delver through Brainstorm. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, uh, by flipping a Brainstorm. Uh, and you are building up a pretty, pretty good board presence here, though. And I'm trying to attack down that Oko as well, since you don't have blockers yet. Hopefully I can get him out of there pretty quick. Right, or just, like, draw a clean answer for it, like one of your, um... Uh, Lightning bolts or something. Yeah. All right. Well, here is another one of uh, everyone's favorite new design mistakes coming out. We have an Uro, and it looks like we're trying to fight over that as well. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. Oko plus Uro doesn't sound like a good time for me. <laughs> yeah. Huh? But he happens. Yeah. So. And he's in the graveyard now. Uh, it doesn't look like I can escape him quite yet, but we shall see. Um, yeah, are you missing a green? Looks like. Uh, yeah, and enough cards in Graveyard, which I'm trying to get in there now. Uh, so I do take care of your Dreadhorde Arcanist to try and get you off the uh, value there. And uh, I go ahead and, and I elf the food. 
-hmm. And just pass it, I guess I'll just leave it up as a blocker then. Rip, Dreadhorde Arcanist. Gone too soon. Yeah. Yeah, you would have been able to get tons and tons of value off of that. But I do have an elemental from my uh, Pyromancer, so that's something. Yeah. And I've got my Delver all nice and flipped, so not looking too bad for me. Second Pyromancer. Wow, and then that, yeah, that should give you two more tokens there. Wow. So I'm really trying to get some board presents here. Yeah, chugging along. <laughs> Uh, I'm no. trying to decide how many people I want to attack you with. And it looks like all three. Okay, and I end up blocking the Pyromancer with the Elf, killing that. And it looks like the way you had attacked, it didn't actually end up taking down Oko. It looks like you didn't swing the Delver at the Oko, is what it was. So I took the Delver to the face. Yeah, uh, I think that was just a play mistake for whatever reason. I thought... You wouldn't block any of my cards, and so Oko would die. It didn't work out, unfortunately. It's all right. It looks like I went ahead and tried to escape Uro without enough cards, so I had to play a card, finally get the Uro out, but you do have the Pyroblast to answer it. Um, I go ahead and I take up Oko one more time and make another food. Yeah, there's definitely quite a bit more back and forth uh, in this game here. Yes, so at least I held on to that Pyroblast knowing that Uro was going to be coming back at me, so I tried to uh, resolve my mistakes there a little bit. Ah, uh, and it looks like you do go for the Oko this time with the Insectile Aberration, so I go ahead and blast it uh, to keep my Oko alive. And at this point, that seems to pretty much be curtains unless you have a good clean answer, right? Because... Oh, I go to uptick and stifle comes in handy, but still it looks like, you know, having this active Oko stick around is going to be really insurmountable unless you can deal with it very quickly. Mm -hmm. So one simple play mistake, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Oko will do that. Yeah, it looks like I fatal push one of those tokens to get it out of the way. Uh, and it looks like I'm coming in with the elves. Yeah, got you down to eight. Uh, I've got to see if I can draw something to... Nope, not going to draw anything. So maybe I can block at least. Maybe. Yeah, I guess Oko was too high that it was unable to kill it in a swing anyway. So leaving him back to block, I suppose, was yeah. uh, your only way of really staying alive. I drown in the lock one of them, though. I daze it in the hopes that it'll just keep you off mana from playing one more really good thing. Yeah. But then, of course, Oko can just put out another food token that becomes another elk next turn, and I think that's just going to be it for me this game. Yeah, I think that's it. Hey, everyone. Thanks again for watching. It's always a pleasure making these videos for y'all. We'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time. Mwah!